On April 20th, 1962, test pilot Neil Armstrong was testing a self-adjusting control system on the hypersonic experimental rocket plane called the X-15. Utilizing the incredible performance of his rocket plane and its climb rate of over 60,000 feet per minute, Armstrong managed to reach an altitude of over 207,000 feet above the surface of our planet. But unfortunately for poor Neil, during the descent phase, the X-15's nose was held up for too long and the hypersonic rocket plane bounced off our atmosphere like a skipping stone, sending Neil and his experimental aircraft back up to 140,000 feet. At that extreme altitude, the air is so thin that aerodynamic surfaces ha have almost no effect. So Armstrong and his X-15 tore inverted past his intended landing field at three times the speed of sound, Mach 3.0, at over 100,000 feet in altitude. And before he knew it, poor Emil ended up somewhere over the hills of Hollywood. After the long, painful waiting for the control inputs to bite and a sufficient ascent rate to accumulate, Armstrong nursed his hypersonic thoroughbred back towards the east, now far exceeding the glided distance of his 15,000 pound experimental lawn dart. Armstrong, by the skin of his teeth, managed to stretch his blight just enough to clear the Joshua trees at the south end of Edward's dry lake bed. And according to chase pilots, Neil cleared the trees by as little as 100 feet. On that particular day, and that particular flight, set the all-time record for the longest X-15 flight in both time flown, as well as distance on the ground track. And poor Neil wasn't proud of either one. <laughs>